It's not even controversial anymore. People know in Florida their freedoms are going to be respected. Miranda, hello. Lots of Florida news to get to. Yes, always. <laughs> so Ron DeSantis is doing two things that seem a little uh, counterintuitive. So let's start with the first one. He wants to cut a thousand state jobs. Why? Um, well, he's trying to cut the budget and cutting some jobs is one of the things that he wants to kind of do. But he hasn't really said what those jobs are um, in a in the conference where he kind of announced that he wanted to do this in order to cut like I think it's something like seven billion dollars from the budget or something like that. He talked about cutting a thousand jobs and then made a little bit more of a point to talk about how he wants to give a million dollars to FSU over the, you know, the team being snubbed from the college championship bowls. Um, I mean, they have a perfect record. So they said that they got snubbed because their star quarterback is out on injury. So they probably won't perform as good as they did throughout the season. But um, I hate to think he wants to even suggest laying out some taxpayer dollars so that a college football team can sue uh committee well i think it's i think it's the optics of it right like let's cut people's jobs to save money but then also let's sue over football which i'm not trying to downplay people love football and they're like fsu belonged in the perfect record whatever it is but it's the it's the simultaneous like hey we need to cut jobs if insley did that oh my gosh we would have lost it cut jobs but also let's spend a bunch of money suing over the feeling that we got snubbed yeah, and I'd be interested to know what jobs, because if there's some useless jobs out there that are, um, you know, stale enough that DeSantis wants to get rid of them, I might be on board with that. So oh, I would like to know what jobs he would like to, you know, get rid of and then talk about football. Yeah, <laughs> let's reserve that for another time for sure. But yeah, I'm all for a lean, mean government. It's just sort of okay. If we were looking for a lean, mean government, I don't know if suing over a football game is necessarily the best use of resources. Yeah. Uh, speaking of DeSantis, what'd you think about the DeSantis Newsom debate matchup? We haven't had a chance to talk to you about it yet. It went down basically as I would have expected it to go down. Slightly funny, slightly useless. And I think it was just kind of a soapbox for both of these guys to stand on and just talk about themselves and talk against each other like they've been doing for years. So it was a little useless in my opinion. Yeah, it's just interesting that you're right. I mean, it is it is what we thought it would gonna be, was going to be. I don't think it changes anyone's minds. The only interesting angle to me is Newsom is clearly, clearly preparing himself for a presidential appointment, I'm going to say, just replacing Joe Biden and continues yeah. to act like he's not. There's no other reason to do a debate like that. No, I don't think so either. And DeSantis did try to get him to admit it a couple of times. And Newsom would just fight back with being like, you're behind in your own state. And like, Which is and true. It just, for, it's for true. Ron. It's all it's all true. It was just both of them trying to pry truths out of each other and deflection central. So oh. we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. One more. There is like kind of an, uh, the epitome of Florida man is this guy who's got tattoos all over his face and they call him the Joker. Um, yeah, he's like the Florida Joker, they call him. Yeah. And so he now believes that the newest Grand Theft Auto has modeled a character after him. Yes. And if you look at the uh, mugshot of him that kind of went viral a few years back, he was arrested for some pretty minor things like marijuana possession and he had a concealed firearm at the time. Um, but he, his mugshot went pretty viral as one of the original Florida Man news stories. He's got joker to like joker you know clown tattoos and words all over his face and if you watch the latest trailer that was dropped this week for the grand theft auto it's very much set in florida and it looks just like him in my opinion <laughs> i feel like he should get money for that if they're gonna like mimic a character off of him not that i want a criminal to benefit from his weird face tattoos no. but no and there was and that's kind of what this news story is about is he kind of put out a TikTok like rockstar games you need to get at me about this like he sh and a lot of people were saying like he should get his check but a while ago during a different grand theft auto i think an la one um, there was a Lindsay Lohan lookalike, and she actually did take Rockstar Games to court over it, and the case was dismissed because the judge was like, this is just a generic version of a beach girl, 
And just because you think she looks like you doesn't mean it is you. So I don't I don't know if this guy will get any money out of it. Maybe a few TikTok followers, but that's about it. Yeah, that's interesting. Hey, maybe <laughs> I should get some face tattoos, get out there on social media. I don't know what I'd get. So a neck tattoo, you know? That's yeah. when you've really made it. Neck tattoo, a couple teardrops. All right, Miranda, <laughs> thank you so much. Bye, have a good weekend. It's not even controversial anymore. People know in Florida their freedoms are going to be respected. 